Chernobyl was far more disturbing than you were told. It was bad, but let's keep the dramatics grounded in physics. And was so deadly that it still kills to this day. No, the site still has radiation, but they're mostly stable and controlled today. But how is this possible? It all began during a night shift in Chernobyl 1986, ironically performing a safety test. This was an equipment coast down test. It was a poorly planned test with political pressure behind it. But during the procedure, they made a deadly mistake, accidentally lowering the reactor's power to a dangerously low level. They manually mishandled it while under schedule pressure. Not realizing a gas called xenon had been silently building up before, choking the reactor. Xenon-135 made the core temporarily harder to raise power because it absorbs neutrons at a higher rate than uranium fissions. To fix this, the workers tried to bring up the power by pulling out the safety rods. Control rods. And they violated multiple safety rules and procedures by withdrawing almost all control rods. So design flaw plus operator error. But this only made it worse. The power spikes so unbelievably fast, you wouldn't be able to read the numbers on the gauge. Yep, these reactors have positive void coefficients. So steam formation actually increases power. Quickly slamming down the emergency button, hoping to fix it. When suddenly, one of the most violent explosions in power plant history. The scram button didn't save them because the rod tips had graphite. So it actually increased reactivity for a split second, which was enough. So strong, it blasted a 1,000 ton lid into the air and blew the entire reactor wide open. Yep, two steam explosions and then a graphite fire. Radioactive material 400 times stronger than Hiroshima was now spreading through the sky. Not a good comparison. Hiroshima was a nuclear bomb. Chernobyl was a reactor meltdown with long-lived fallout. The physics and mechanics are just too different. Literally turning the air blue. Ionization of air and hot oxygen and graphite fires can create a blue glow. Chernobyl workers, firefighters, and even rescue crews were unknowingly being exposed to deadly radiation as they tried helping. But Accurate and tragic. They just didn't know. It gets worse. Radioactive dust continued to spread into the nearby town of Pripyat and was completely invisible. The next yes. day, people started tasting metal in the air. So that's not radiation itself. It's the body's stress response, sometimes triggered by high dose. Eyes were burning, felt nauseous, and had bright red skin. So those are early symptoms of acute radiation syndrome. Living in this radiation for nearly two full days before they were evacuated. But it was already too late. 134 of the first people on site fell victim to radiation poison in just days. And over the span of decades, long-term radiation effects continued taking out thousands of more people, leading to a total loss of around 4,000 lives. This is 4,000 possible excess cancer deaths over decades, and not thousands of people dropping instantly.